going on, ladies and gentlemen? How you guys doing? You know something? My techs don't like me no more. My technology stuff, my my devices don't like me no more. Let me start off with my cell phone. My cell phone, I have a cell phone. Uh, and everybody have a cell phone. <laughs> well, it depends. I don't know. Kids got getting cell phones. I, I see them goddamn seven year olds with cell phones. Like, what they. You seven, you got an iPhone? Which. What is going on with society, y'all? You know, you walking around, you know, you go pick your little sister up from school, you know, you walk around wherever, and you just. You see this, this little seven year old kid with a goddamn iPhone. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, um. This. I went to sleep Friday night, right? I, I, I normally I listen to this sound application that allows me to, you know, it, it basically plays like the jungle, I guess, rainforest, waterfalls, you know, sounds that put you to sleep, make you ride like a little baby. So I put it on, I went to sleep, and I knocked out right away. <sighs> Fell asleep. Immediately. Uh, I woke back up, it was really quiet. I'm like, hold up, it's way too quiet, what's going on here? Uh, then I do some last night for some sound. I remember, yeah, my cell phone, and so like, okay, it's not making any sound. The, the battery probably died. Maybe the charger got unplugged, some shit. You know, I don't know. You know, uh, so I went and I touched it. I picked it up. I'm like, oh shit, this thing is really hot. It this phone was so hot. It was incredibly, ridiculously hot, really hot, like uncomfortably. Even though it was in standby, not with the screen. The screen wasn't even on. The phone was really hot, hotter than it was even supposed to be. So immediately that scared me. Like, oh shit, shit. Shit, my phone done died. It done died. I thought my phone died. I really did. Because I tried to turn it on. It wasn't turned on. I, I panicked. I got I got, I got, got real scared. Like, oh my god. I started shaking. And I'm like, oh shit, I don't have a phone no more. Uh, you know. And it's absolutely crazy. It, it was so hot. Like, I was like, oh my god, it probably fried the components. I smell chicken. I don't know. It, it was just so crazy. But I unplugged it. I took out the battery, put it to cool down, it turned on. I'm like, shit. Yeah, that's that's great. Got off from the bed. Okay, went to brush my teeth, do all that shit. Um, take a shower, come back, go sit on the computer. Um, did I lotion myself? I don't even know. I lotion myself down. I don't, I don't remember. I think I did. Because I really wanted to get back on my YouTube and see what the hell was going on with it and, you know, see who commented or whatever. Um, so I went on my computer, I turned on the computer, Boop. pressed the power button. I was like, okay, wait a minute. Look at this monitor. I was looking at the monitor, I'm like, okay, normally the light is orange. It wasn't on at all. So I'm like, okay, what is going on here? This doesn't make any sense. I thought I left it on. Maybe I turned it off. I don't remember, whatever. Boop. Pressed it, it didn't turn on. I'm like, okay, what's going on? Maybe it's unplugged. I plugged in, I made sure I checked the plug in the back. It was all plugged in. I'm like, oh shit, okay. Turn it on again, and then turn it on. Like, okay, what's going on here? I went to the back of my computer. I looked at the ports. Everything was plugged in. Everything was on. Uh, nothing shorted out. Nothing like that. Like, okay, what's going on here? Does this make any sense? So I unplugged everything. I, unplugged, I, I only unplugged the uh, power cord. I left the VGA cable in. Yes, people. I still use VGA cable. DVI to VGA. Uh, but I, I left. I unplugged the power cord. And I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm trying to smell it. I'm a geek, you know, I'm good with electronics, shit like that. You can always tell when something's made wrong or whatever. So I try to smell the monitor, and if you don't smell your monitor, if something's wrong, if something's wrong, then you're probably not, obviously not a geek. But you, when you smell your monitor, you can smell if something's burnt inside of it. Then you know, okay, maybe something happened, and it exploded or something, something popped or whatever, while it was in standby, which is ridiculous. It, it doesn't put any, a lot of power when it's in standby. So I'm like, okay, this is bullshit. Uh, I don't smell nothing. What's going on here? So... Uh, about 40 seconds later, you know, looking at it, monitoring everything, making sure everything was cool, uh, checking all the buttons and everything, looking all around it, trying to smell, see what's wrong, <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> um, I plugged it back in, right? I pressed the power button again. It didn't turn on. Like, what the hell is going on here? I know my monitor can't be dead. This is impossible, right? And I pressed, I pressed the power button again. And I heard this this little high frequency sound, and it flickered, and it flickered again, and it flick. It's like it's like a car trying to start up. That's what it sounds. That's what it looks like. And it tried to start up, and then 
uh, it's, and when it turned on, it was this really high pitch frequency sound. It's just so high pitch. It's a high frequency, and uh, the monitor turned on though. But it was a really high frequency. I'm like, oh shit! I'm gonna need a new monitor. This obviously this is what's gonna happen here. I need a new monitor. And that was uh, Friday. Now, this damn thing takes at least 10 minutes a day to turn on. Uh, I think what I'm going to start doing is like leave it unplugged from the VGA. You know when you unplug it from the VGA cable, it has that warning on the screen that comes up saying the cable's unplugged. Uh, but this keeps the monitor on. As long as the monitor stays on, it will continue to work, I guess. Because when I turn it off, even, even when I unplug it, when I go to sleep at night and I unplug it, and I put it back on in the morning, it takes 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes to turn on. It's absolutely ridiculous, you know. Uh, so I guess that is one of the, the best way to do to do it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I need, now I need a monitor, and my computer started giving problems. It's freaking ridiculous, the computer, not the monitor, the computer itself. Uh, got the disk drive error, it wasn't reading the drive, I'm like, oh shit. My computer screwed. Uh, which hard drive is dying, which one is dead? <laughs> because one of them has bad sectors on it. Um, I tried to partition, I don't know if you guys know what that is, like separating the disk kind of like, and while I was partitioning it, the computer froze. I got the blue screen of death. It was Windows 7, it wasn't Vista. I was like, oh shit. But as soon as I saw, I knew when it was partitioning, and I saw when it went to blue screen, I was like, oh shit, this is not good. I don't know, something done just screwed up just now. And I was kind of right. It, it got so it got a few bad sectors, and I haven't been able to even try to remove it. Am I even going to try to remove it? Um, because I think it's probably a waste of time. Because I tried that with another hard drive I had before, and it didn't work. It's another hard drive. I was I was being an idiot, and the hard drive was giving me problems. I believe I was just mad because the computer keep crashing, and I took the SATA cable, the, the saddle the SATA cable, and I unplugged it while the computer was on, and the hard drive pretty much got. Pretty much destroyed itself and wouldn't. It, it, it was having hard times recognizing it. And Windows was starting was starting to tell me that how the drive was failing on the ghost shed. All right, that sucks. But at least I was able to back up all my uh, all my data off of it. Um, so yeah, that's my computer problems. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see y'all later.